what's up everybody and welcome back so in this video we are going to add a car with a steering wheel control as you can see right here with two buttons to move the car forward and backward and with the steering wheel control we will uh, move the car left and right now i do have a video on my youtube channel about that but that was old now in this video these controls are going to be more realistic so let's play the game and let's see what we are going to do in this video so here we i have uh, two buttons so i can speed up the car and uh, with that controller i can rotate the car so you can also see that the wheels are turning so when i turn the car the wheels are turning now in the previous video i was in that was on my youtube channel i was uh, just rotating the whole car but uh, these controls are more realistic now we can do we do uh, can apply the brake so if i press space you can see the car is stopping and the lights are turning on now uh, this asset i am using is from the asset store so uh, there are so before proceeding to the video i just want you guys to know about my multiplayer course so i have created a multiplayer course with over 40 plus lectures and you can see that it's uh, more than six hours of lectures on multiplayer game development using photon 2 which is the latest version in 2019 so uh, this is the very detailed course and in uh, there are some free videos you can uh, take that a lot of functionality so uh, we can open and close the doors by using the numpad keys one two and three so let's see how we did it so uh, for that uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to have two assets so let's see so right here we can we are going to use the sport car it is a free asset and it's only 2.5 MB. Also, we are going to use the simple input system by Suleiman Yasser. And uh, what you need to do is go to the asset store and download both of these packages and import it in your scene. So, in here, I have my cartoon car and my simple input plugin right here now what you need to do is in the car assets you can you have to uh, open the scene with the name cartoon sport car b01 example and uh, which is right here now after opening the scene you will have your environment and your car so now the next step is to add these controllers so uh, for that you need to go to the simple input asset so we will have a plugin folder right here and in here we have a simple input so just open the prefab and drag the steering wheel in your canvas so it should be in the canvas so this is my canvas and inside that canvas i have my steering wheel now also you will need to have these two buttons which is uh, which i renamed it to backward and forward so just uh, create two images so by clicking here and go to ui and create an image and i have a sprite flat dark which i think comes with the simple input plugin so now after that uh, let's uh, go to our script so with the car you will have your car user control dot cs script 
now we are going to make some changes in the script so uh, let's ignore these two lines for now and first of all we will go to the fixed update and uh, in here uh, we will use the simple input dot get axis so previously i think it was using cross platform input manager so just uh, replace the h and v with simple input dot get axis horizontal and vertical so this will make sure that our input comes from our steering wheel control now after that uh, there is another line that i commented because it was uh, creating some problems so just uh, comment out this handbrake line and instead of instead use this code so whenever we are holding the space key bar our handbrake variable which we defined just above the fixed update which is a float variable so handbrake variable is going to be one and when we release the key the handbrake is going to be zero now here is where we are using the our inputs so we have another script on the car which comes with the asset which is a car controller so inside the car controller we have a function called move now you will have h and in instead of input you will have v uh, which is our uh, vertical axis v v and handbrake so now we have changed the handbrake to our space key now we will replace the vertical input with our input variable so what is this input variable input variable is a private int that we defined right here now where we are going to change these inputs so first of all if the input is one so in the second argument if the input is one the car will move forward so if the input is negative one then the car will move backward so the horizontal will uh, rotate the wheels left and right and the handbrake if the handbrake is one the we will apply the brake and if it is zero no brake will be applied so just ignore this print line now in here we, you can see we have our three functions which we are going to be called whenever the button our full forward and backward buttons are going to be pressed so if we are holding down the forward key the input variable should be one so when the input is one right here no matter what input is right here so if it is one right here the car will move forward and if it is negative one so no matter what input we will receive here so if here we receive negative one the car will move backward and when we release the keys we will have another function pointer up so input will be zero so if the input is zero the car will not move now let's see how to call these functions so on our forward button you can see it is just an image so so on that image i added a button component so just go to the add component and put button component which is this on that image now then we have our script with the name forward button which i just created so uh, let's see what this script is going to do so now we can you know call the function uh, by using the event trigger but uh, i am using this logic so let's see what the forward button is doing so here is our forward button script so what this forward button is going to do so what we need actually here is reference to our car so whenever car is whenever user is holding down the forward key we need to call that function so 
for that we are using the uh, pointer down and pointer up handler so we are simply first of all we are uh, getting the car user control which is the script that has these three functions because we need a reference to that script to call these functions so uh, this is that and this is just a static uh, instance of that uh, button so let's see right here so one function that we have is set player so this function is going to be called by the car user control so whenever we instantiate our car what the car is going to do in the start we will use the static reference of forward button so forward button dot instance dot set player so this line will call the function set player and pass and we will pass the uh, reference of our car so now our forward button has a reference to our car so just uh, name it player now we will get the reference to our script which is car user control so simply store it in the car variable so now we have a reference to our car user control script inside our forward button with by using this set player method now then you need to uh, implement these two interfaces so i pointer down handler and up handler which are right here so when the pointer is down we will call the forward because this script is on the forward button so if we click on the forward button so it means our pointer is down then we will call the forward function by using the car reference and if the pointer is up we will uh, uh, reset the inputs by calling the pointer up button so which is uh, right here so input will be zero now just copy the whole code and create uh, another script so we will have uh, another script for our backward button also you can see all the components and each and everything is same so this back button so back button is also uh, same we are also setting the reference in our back button so right here you can see that calling the set player function and passing our game object so same thing here we have a static reference so that we can access the uh, back button method set player in our car user control script so simply uh, in the back button we will just call the backward function when the pointer is down and when the pointer is up we will call the pointer up function now there are other some other properties uh, if on camera so we have uh, two kind of camera free look camera that will be controlled by the mouse and car camera rig so also on your car controller you can see that we have uh, a lot of variables a lot of uh, improvements and changes can be done by manipulating and changing these variables so mm, you can play around with these values to get the desired result also we have a car drive type uh, full four wheel rear wheel and front wheel drive so let's uh, play it one more time So that's it for this video and uh, I will see you in the next video.